Yeah, Joel had actually laid the gauntlet down. He was like, this room's going to be much more fun than their room. Probably. So. Oh, did he say yeah. that? Yeah. Mm. So there's still tension between you guys on screen, off there screen. Is. Yeah, we don't, <laughs> I don't like them. <laughs> well, I asked them this before and uh, wonder what your your take is. Like, how do you feel you would react in a situation like this where you're your sort of back is up against the wall and maybe you're just one of a handful of people left on the planet. I mean, mm. what kind of person do you think you'd be in that situation? I mean, I would hope that I would, like, survive a certain amount of survival of skill would kick in, <laughs> but it's really hard to say. I don't know how much, like the characters in the movie, I don't know, much, I don't know how much the fear would just kind of take over and then mm. I would just crawl up into a ball under a tree and just wait it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? I think that a would part be of me thinks <laughs> that <laughs> that's what I would do. Yeah. Just eat whatever walks yeah, by. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what's kind of interesting about the movie is that it, it kind of does say, you know, Hopefully everybody would be uh, in a in a good sharing mood and people would come together. But you know, ultimately the paranoia and that kind of thing just always takes over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, I mean, do you feel like that's sort of partially the message of the film? Yeah, yeah. I think it's sort of you know there isn't really like a bad guy or a monster, or a scary thing, you know. And I think that him playing with sort of what's the monster in this film was really interesting. What was it like for you guys on set when you're, when you're, how do you get into that headspace where so many of your scenes are very, you know, intense and emotional? I mean, I think, I mean, we'd, we would all kind of take care of each other in a nice way. And there, there were, it wasn't, it wasn't that dark while filming it actually, you know, I mean, obviously the, the scenes are and doing them, but you know, R- Riley was saying before, like we were, we were in a really beautiful location and up in the woods and um, it was like summer and it was lush. So we just kind of pop outside and, you know, take a breather and and (laughs) shake it off yeah uh what about the little guy who plays your son in the Mm. movie i got to imagine for him too it's it's got to be he's not so used to acting i assume so yeah what was what was it like working with him well he actually is an actor you know um he he got like auditions all the time and (laughs) so he the concept of filming and and acting and all that he, he totally was with it and he was very good and professional and you know, there were moments where I think it was a bit intense for him that he didn't really like, um, yeah. hmm. which uh, was, you know, horrible. But he also was down to, you know, get through it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Were you guys kind of form your own little family unit uh, when filming? Riley, you were good at you were good at that. Yeah, he really liked me, <laughs> so we kind of hung out. Yeah. I stayed away. He he like he hates I'm kids. <laughs> I don't generally like kids. But great, 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 great. Uh, was there any any one sequence or, or moment in the film that was especially challenging or difficult to shoot? I just want to talk. And I want honest answers. Do you have any idea what's going on out there? I'm gonna try and help you and your family. I want to thank you again for letting us stay here. Just gonna run through a few things. When we go out during the day, we like to stick to groups just for safety. The red door. It's the only way in and out of the house. It stays closed and locked all the time. <laughs> I have the keys. It's the only set. <laughs> Most important thing. What's he see? It's okay. Just go inside. We never go out at night. The door was already open when you got there. Yeah. Then who opened it? I think they're sick. Put your mask on. Nobody's sick here. Can't trust anyone but family. You don't get it. How old are you, Travis? If you're lying to me, I will kill you.
So tell me a little bit about the atmosphere on this set, because obviously it's mostly just you guys up there in the woods, day in, day out, with these really tense and emotional scenes. I mean, how do you kind of live that reality for, I guess, an extended period of time? I, I guess, for me, it was just such an exciting experimental project that I was just giddy all the time <laughs> <laughs> when the cameras weren't rolling, and then, and then giddy in a different kind of way when the cameras were. So it wasn't that I was sort of walking around feeling sort of scared constantly. I think that's what people wonder if we're always in a heightened state of fear. <laughs> but, you know, I think we know as actors when to turn it on and off. Well, it's going to be kind of exhausting, though, to, to be at that level so often, right? Yeah, sometimes you surprise yourself. I, th I think, you know, because we're all having such a great time up there in the woods and going to the same place every day in a small town, a great town too, Woodstock. Um, and then, you know, they, they drag you out to do a scene and you're like, oh, that's right, this is a scene where some really, really heavy stuff has happened. So <laughs> I probably should put my head in the right place. And particularly for Calvin, you know, going through the full spectrum of things that he has to go through in the movie. But, you know, you do know when to sort of switch it on and switch it off. Um, but there's an abundance of terrible things to deal with in this film. Yeah. So, you know, you remind yourself you have to be focused for it. Do you guys kind of put yourselves in these characters' shoes and go, you know, this is maybe a decision I would make or or I can't agree with this character's decision? I mean, is it hard to see yourself in this predicament? For me, I always think about my experience in Hurricane Katrina. It felt kind of similar. It was like being in this house and everything's boarded up and like it's like it seems like an apocalypse to like a 12-year-old, which Travis is 17, but in my mind he's 12. You know what I mean? He just feels like a, a, a baby to this thing. So as you're looking at your parents and you're just kind of looking, lead, do something. What do you do? Why are you making the decisions you're making? So it was kind of like that for me <laughs> the whole time. It felt just, mm. felt like that, it felt yeah. real. Yeah, what do you, how do you feel you, how do you think you would react in a situation like this where it's just you and maybe a handful of other people <laughs> left on the planet? Cry. I'd run right into the woods and leave everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'd eat all the canned food and then <laughs> day one, cry and hide in a cupboard. Oh, no. So we shouldn't trust you. Yeah. You know. no, I'm, I'm no leader. Um, look, one of the great things about the script, I remember reading it for the first time and thinking how, how even though it was a world I, I would never hopefully know, you know, that it felt so, he'd set up a bunch of characters and it felt so true to the characters he's, he'd established that, that it felt like a real situation and it felt like the script was a perfect guide that we didn't really have to make anything else up, which is always good because I'm lazy. <laughs> well, it's funny because I was just going to ask, did you and Trey kind of talk about what this family was like before, what, where we meet them, or is it like you say, all you have to focus on is really where we meet them. And he was cool. He he had he had a, a, a story and um, ideas for all of us and and collectively and as individuals in terms of career and where we've been and maybe what had happened, and and but but was determined not to e express them too much in the movie so that the audience could, you know fill in that part of the canvas, I but guess. Yeah, he's also really fluid and open to hearing what we mm -hmm. thought. You know, so like, I think some of our backstory mm -hmm. went through multiple... Look, I think I was Miss World before, the, <laughs> before this all yeah. happened. <laughs> you missed what? When Miss World. Before the makeup oh. ran out. Um, no. <laughs> 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 no. Prequel, maybe. Maybe you should have a prequel. Like, yeah, no, I believe that. But that's <laughs> the cool thing about Trey is even though he's so, as young as he is, he's so confident about what he's doing, mm. Yet he's still so open to ideas constantly, including completely new backstories, if that's what makes most sense for you to make you know, what happens on screen work. So yeah, he's pretty cool like that. answers. Do you have any idea what's going on out there? I'm going to try and help you and your family. I want to thank you again for letting us stay here. Just going to run through a few things. When we go out during the day, we like to stick to groups just for safety. 
the red door. It's the only way in and out of the house. It stays closed and locked all the time. <laughs> I have the keys. It's the only set. <laughs> Most important thing. What's he see? It's okay. Just go inside. We never go out at night. The door was already open when you got there. Yeah. Then who opened it? I think they're sick. Put your mask on. Nobody's sick here. Can't trust anyone but family. You don't get it. How old are you, Travis? You're lying to me. I will kill you. I think that Will and I should be the only ones to go outside for a while. We don't know what made Stanley sick. We don't know anything. Nobody touched him, so I think we're fine, right? Positive. You just opened the door, right? You didn't go in. I didn't touch the door. You didn't what? It was, it was already open. What? The door was already open when you got there. Yeah. Then who opened it? If you're lying to me, I will kill you. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> 